He died. She would just go to anyone in the neighborhood and say, if you see any twins, Korean American twins looking for Mrs. Pei, that's me, that's me. Make sure that they call me. And she would just look over the photo albums. And her daughter-in-law said she'd just cry and just touch the photos. Jane has one more family secret hidden in an old ginseng box. It's a tin time capsule stuffed with mementos of a life that might have been. Snapshots of Connie, letters from Alan, and look at this, the savings bonds Alan sent all those years ago. She had saved them all her life. Is it possible she planned to give this modest inheritance to her twins one day when they returned? If so, that day never came. Alan's Facebook page is percolating tonight. Hundreds of well-wishers like the news of the big reunion. This is the best news ever. OMG, amazing. So glad for you all. So, so wonderful. So overjoyed. It's good to see him reunited with his children. I hope that they can make up for the lost time. I am in tears. Few people in life, in their jobs, have the chance to do something that changes somebody's life which is what you've done for these three people. What is that like? It's amazing. I feel, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm emotional. I've been doing this 20 years. <laughs> I feel blessed that people trust me enough to allow me into their world. It's an honor when you get to say this is over. The healing is going to begin. I'm a lucky girl. And the Thomas family feels lucky to be hitting New York City's Koreatown to remember their roots and catch up. The twins tease their dad, trying to get him to try the fermented Korean favorite, kimchi. Just right there. But Alan is satisfied simply to savor their company and enjoy their first family dinner in 44 years. We are so happy that family can finally be together. And if you have a lost loved one you've been searching for, let us know. Go to our website at abcnews.com slash 2020. We may contact you about a future searcher's story. Incredible reunion. And when we come back here tonight, Barbara Walters has been making a list, checking it twice, actually about 10 times, right? Yeah. You'll see what we mean when we come back. A Chattanooga tied to the San Bernardino terror attack. A woman tells us the heroic actions of her loved one moments before he died. And we could see record high temperatures over the weekend. The full forecast coming up at 11. See. Get the gifts they'll love at JCPenney Super Saturday Sale. Spend $25 or more and get $10 off with coupon. Some exclusions apply. Plus, use your coupon to save even more on amazing doorbusters this Friday, 3 p.m. to close and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Find deals on outerwear and sleepwear for the family, sweaters for the family, gold jewelry, and diamond earrings. JCPenney, where giving begins. What are people going to think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah. Here's our car. It's McDonald's. Oh, get out of here. Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Hey, buddy, have you been a good boy? A good boy. Will you make me live? At PetSmart, we'll help you find the perfect gift for the perfect pet. You have been a good boy, haven't you? PetSmart. To feel this special, you need to eat this special. Start your day with 150 nourishing calories in a bowl of Special K. Eat special, feel special. Nexium 24 Hour is the new number one selling frequent heartburn brand in America. I hope you like it spicy. Get complete protection with the Purple Pill, a new leader in frequent heartburn. That's Nexium level protection. Just head around the corner to Walgreens when you're searching for that perfect little something. Walgreens has great gifts like toys, beauty gift sets, and photo gifts. And it's all just a hop, skip, and a bark away. Walgreens, at the corner of happy and healthy. This week, save 40% on canvas prints. So I'm going to ask you a simple question about sex. Do you ever fake it? I survived. 
that crash for a reason. I guess my room wasn't ready. If you lose the Republican nomination, are you a loser? I guess I call myself a loser. To me, your clothes don't change. I say if you can't sleep in them and go out in them, I don't want to know from them. You are handsome, you are kind. Tell me something awful about yourself. That's next Thursday at 9.30 Eastern with The Big Reveal, Barbara's most fascinating person. Thanks so much for watching tonight. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. And I'm David Muir. From all of us here at 2020 and ABC News, have a good night and great weekend. ABC News, honored. Winner for the second straight year with the Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television and radio. ABC News, America's number one news source. Saturday on ABC. You're watching News Channel 9 at 11 with Kim Chapman, Josh Rowe, Sports with Dave Staley, and Storm Track 9 Weather with Chief Meteorologist David Glenn. This is News Channel 9 at 11 in HD. Construction workers demolishing a building uncover one-of-a-kind artwork. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Catherine Marchand joins us now with where it was found and what makes it so unique. Catherine. Kim, Josh, crews have been working to construct a new building on Chattanooga's North Shore. They had to tear down the building that was there, and in the process, they unveiled a piece of Chattanooga's history. At the corner of Manning Street and Cherokee Boulevard, you'll find a coming soon sign for a new building, but it's not really catching anyone's eye. They're looking at what's behind it. Old ads for Southern Dairies, Sealtis ice cream and double cola. The signs are painted on the wall of what's now Dojo Chattanooga. Trevor Haynes is the owner. The second day when they cleared everything out, basically is like stood on a surprise. We, it turns out we have all this artwork right here. His building was constructed in 1929. The building that was just torn down wasn't built until 1952. If those were built in the 50s, we know that this was put on there somewhere between you know 1929 and some and early 1950s. And just next door to Dojo at Suck Creek Cycle. I knew that the two buildings weren't attached. I didn't know that that's how it would come down, that, that one wall would come down and just uncover a time capsule like that. Owner Michael Skiles says sign painting is a lost art, and he can't believe how many people have been flocking to the building to catch a glimpse. People like Chuck Hamilton. I just looks kind of neat. Old, old, old ads, and a little bit of nostalgia. Even the city's director of public art, Peggy Townsend, wanted to see for herself. And it's just such an incredible opportunity to see something captured from the past. They're beautiful and they're handmade. They're, I'm sure they're hand painted, and just the prices on the um, on the wall there for like a grilled cheese is like 20 cents. Oh, Haynes says great. he's amazed that marketing in one era is now an art form in the next, but he wants to make sure every. Everyone coming to check it out knows so that Dojo Chattanooga is not offering sandwiches for 25 cents and coffee for five cents. That's all. Construction of the new building is expected to be completed by early spring. Haynes says it's supposed to be recessed 10 to 15 feet from the wall where all the ads are, so he's hoping at least a little hint of it will still be visible. Well, it's been a very warm December evening after a warm December day. Temperatures right now still upper 50s, low 60s, and won't drop too much through the overnight hours. So by the time you wake up, it'll be cloudy, patchy fog around. Look at that. Temperatures in the mid-50s already above the average high for this time of year. But I'll tell you why we might see a record high tomorrow and how long this warmth will stick around. More on the seven-day forecast in a few minutes. All right, David, thank you. There is a Chattanooga tie connector, Chattanooga tie to the shooting massacre in California. Sarah Jennings sat down with a Baylor School graduate, Mandy Pfeiffer, who was also the longtime girlfriend of one of the victims. Shannon Johnson is one of the 14 people died that, at that holiday party in San Bernardino. He's being remembered as a hero for saving at least one coworker. Mandy spent 10 years in Chattanooga before moving to California. That's where she met the man she calls the love of her life. Mandy says, although she is heartbroken, she's not surprised by Shannon's bravery and heroism. And those final three words he uttered while protecting his coworkers, I got you. And that's kind of um, why it was great to be in a relationship with him, to be loved by him. Because he would, he would always say that, right? Like, you need a new pair of sneakers so we can go walk in, I got you. 
Mandy says Shannon's passing has created a new mission for her, one of spreading his message of love, kindness, and protection to the world. If you would like to see more of this story, go to newschannel9.com. Federal officials are still investigating if the San Bernardino attack was directed by ISIS, but now authorities are revealing another concern linked to the terror group, saying ISIS militants overseas have at least two passport printing machines that captured them from the Syrian government. Several of the fraudulent passports have already been found in Europe, including one used by one of the suicide bombers who carried out the Paris attacks. Support for Kurdish fighters against ISIS is coming from Tennessee. Tomorrow, military supplies filling this warehouse in Decatur will be sent to soldiers overseas. Not American troops, but Kurdish Peshmerga. Tom Kelly, an organizer for Freedom Express, says it's important to support all troops fighting ISIS. Anti-itch cream, uh, allergy, oral analgesic, things that are only a buck that the Kurdish Peshmerga fighting on the front, the only effective fighting force right now that's really keeping ISIS at bay, and they don't have any of this stuff. Most of the items came from local hospitals and military bases that couldn't use it. It is enough to outfit an entire field hospital. To learn how you can help, visit our website, newschannel9.com. Just days before Hutchison Medical Center loses its license, a new potential buyer steps in. The attorney representing Walker County confirms the People's Choice Hospital Group is bidding $4 million to buy Hutchison. This afternoon, commissioners in both Walker and Catoosa counties held emergency meetings to approve settlement agreements before the case was presented in bankruptcy court. After all four Catoosa County commissioners voted yes, the approval was set. Attorney Skip Patty explains what this agreement means to those who would benefit from it. The sale of the nursing home will go through. The residents of the nursing home will be allowed to stay in the nursing home. There is a purchaser for it that just picks it up and moves on with it. It's not going to be closed down. Patty tells us with the agreement it would reduce the county debt from $10 million to $8.5 million. If all pieces fall into place, we're told there will be a final hearing on Monday to approve the sale of the hospital. A UTC student at the center of an alleged rape at a fraternity house has filed a countersuit. He claims the young woman lied about what happened. The suit was filed in federal court in Nashville. The alleged victim filed a million dollar lawsuit claiming one of the frat brothers of Pi Kappa Alpha raped her during a party. The defendant denies those claims, saying the victim consented to sex and initiated it. He's accusing that woman of libel and slander. There have been no criminal charges filed against him. Today marks the 25th anniversary of the worst traffic accident in Tennessee history. On December 11, 1990, almost 100 cars, pickups, and 18-wheelers collided in dense fog on I-75 in McMinn County at the Calhoun exit. 12 people died and 42 were injured in separate wrecks as drivers ran into each other in low visibility. Bill Dyer was the first officer on the scene, and Becky Isbell, was one of the first people he found. I just knew people were dying, people were being injured. Uh, I knew I had to do something. I, I, didn't, I felt helpless. They made a little makeshift morgue before anybody got there so nothing was covered and they put just a few bodies in there and the one body that was in the position where he was driving. TDOT installed a fog detection system after the accident, which was recently upgraded with a new high-definition cameras to monitor low visibility much better. Congress is buying itself more time to fund the government ahead of tonight's deadline. A stopgap measure will keep the government running and give lawmakers until Wednesday night to agree to a spending deal. The House approved the measure this afternoon following a thumbs up in the Senate. As for sealing a long-term spending deal by Wednesday, there are still dozens of sticking points. Lawmakers have yet to agree on issues attached to the bill, like how the government vets Syrian refugees, funding gun violence research, and campaign finance provisions. Tomorrow, holiday wreaths will be placed in the grave sites of servicemen and women. It's an annual tradition. Tomorrow at noon, wreaths across America will hold a ceremony at the Chattanooga National Cemetery. The event will honor veterans of each branch of the military, the merchant marines, as well as prisoners of war and those still missing in action. The event is part of a nationwide effort to honor men and women in uniform. Earlier this week, wreaths across America also laid wreaths at the Lee Highway Memorial. They honor the five fallen servicemen killed in the July 16th shootings in Chattanooga.
Some holiday events this weekend will cause road closures and need to tell them about it. Tomorrow, two blocks on St. Emil Avenue will be closed for the Christmas Tale. That is a 5K race and or walk that you can bring your dog along to do with you. One lane on Broad Street will be closed as well. This will be from 8 until 11 tomorrow morning. And the Run Run Rudolph 5K walk and run is also tomorrow. Organizers say watch for runners on River Street from 9 to noon. And Lookout Valley Elementary School is putting on their Christmas parade tomorrow from 11 to 1.30. Lanes will be closed on Browns Ferry Road and Cummings Highway. Traffic officers will be out there at the parade to help. Well, coming up, a father on a mission to save his son. And the whole time you're saying, I'm just trying to find my son. I'm a father who is looking for his son. After his son joins an Islamic terror group, a father risks his life to bring him home. And coming up in weather, again, temperatures tomorrow could be near record levels. I'll tell you how much longer this unseasonably warm air will stick around. The weekend and seven-day forecast is next. Join us Saturday morning for Good Morning Chattanooga. We are going to have the latest news and, of course, the latest weather forecast as well. And perhaps you'll find something you can do for this weekend on our calendar of events. That's Good Morning Chattanooga weekend at 6 to 7 a.m. and again from 8 to 9. You're watching News Channel 9 at 11. Celebrate the holidays with Steve and Marjorie. Then, a single mom so hard on her luck. You could be facing eviction. Don't miss the Steve Harvey surprise that becomes one family's holiday miracle. Steve Harvey, Monday at 3 on News Channel 9. News Channel 9 and the Forgotten Child Fund would like to thank our sponsors and you for making our Coats for Kids drive such a huge success. Together, we collected 820 coats and raised $11,490. It's not too late to help. Go to newschannel9.com slash coats. Thank you, Chattanooga. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. What's up, America? I'm John Crowe. It's Friday, December 11th, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $66 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold Mega Ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is 14. That's followed by 43. Up next, we have 69. Your next number is... 54, and your final white ball for this Friday evening is 20. Now for the Mega Ball. Tonight's Mega Ball number is 5. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 14, 43, 69, 54, 20, and the gold Mega Ball is 5. Now, if no one matches all six numbers, Tuesday's jackpot could be $74 million. Good luck in Play On, America. You're watching News Channel 9, the Tennessee Valley's most watched station. Thanks for making News Channel 9 the station you depend on. If the ones you love, love the great outdoors, there's only one place to go this season. The Cabela's Christmas Sale. Get 40% off Herder's Camo Insulated Hunting Apparel, $90 off a Cajun Injector Glass Door Electric Smoker, and up to $80 off Vortex Diamondback Binos. Plus, don't miss Saturday 8 a.m. Doorbusters, where the first 250 in line will receive a free giveaway. And if you can't find it in store, we'll ship it right to your door, free. It's easy to spot a Power Shopper's Kid. Now, whole or half spiral sliced hams are $1.69 a pound. Plus, earn 300 value points with an additional $35 purchase. And Harvest Club Russet Potatoes are buy one, get one free. Value every day, Food City. Weather is sponsored by JB Millworks, where all new construction and remodeling begins. Storm Cam 9 brought to you by CHI Memorial. This is our brand new Rock City Lookout Mountain uh, camera right there from Rock City. Down on the city right. from, from right. Rock City. This is not a shot of Rock City that you're seeing uh, downtown Chattanooga. It's a great shot. I love the nighttime shot on this camera. It just sparkles. You see the lights kind of yeah. twinkling. And it's, oh, I'm like you. I love the show. Yeah. Just sit and watch our beautiful city. That makes it's four, nice. right? We have yeah, four, four cams four now. Four cameras now. Right. Yeah. And hopes to add more. So the, the network, the is, network growing. Is, yeah. is really yeah. growing. Yeah. yeah. And many vantage points because now we have views in the city, around the city, and above the city. One in yeah. Dalton. Hope right. to add more across the region. So it comes in here. Andy, when weather's active. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yep. Let's go and take a look first of all at where the weather could be active, not tomorrow, 
but not Sunday. We're talking Sunday night through early Monday. We got a cold front coming in, which during the late fall, early winter, you have to watch these fronts carefully for any risk of severe weather. And there's a possibility Sunday night through early Monday of a chance of that happening south and west of us. Our risk of severe weather is low Monday morning, but your Monday morning commute back to work could be a wet one. Until we get there, record warmth is possible. Temperatures tomorrow could tie or surpass a record high. Then the showers arrive on Monday. Even after that front rolls by, it's still going to be warm most of next week until late week. In other words, by this time next week, high temperatures may only be in the 40s. So wintertime, not far away. 63 now with a cloudy sky and a light southerly breeze. Very humid out there as well. 52 in Murphy, but Fort Payne not far behind at 55, right around 60 at Athens and Dalton. The high today almost 20 degrees above average, 72, just below the record of 77 back in 07, and the low this morning was only 50. We should only be in the mid 50s by morning. Just a little over a trace of rain that drizzle light rain this morning, still for the year above average by about nine and a half inches. But temperatures around the region reflect the fact it's warm everywhere. The southerly breeze is really holding temperatures up, and compared to 24 hours ago, we're six degrees higher, and temperatures 10 degrees higher at Nashville and Huntsville. Combination of the clouds and also the southerly breeze. We're getting in that Gulf warmth. That flow continues through the weekend. We'll have a lot of cloud cover still in place. Some breaks along some sun tomorrow and maybe a sprinkle or two at times late tonight, but otherwise not much rain during the daylight hours of the weekend. This strong high near Jacksonville, Florida, pumping up all of that heat. It'll be near record levels tomorrow. I'm waiting on the next system coming in from the west. That's the one that'll bring us some showers to start the work week. So here's our future track. Clouds overnight, perhaps a sprinkle by morning but otherwise tomorrow clouds and a mix of sun and clouds of the afternoon and the southerly breeze boosting those temperatures into the low and mid 70s. Now on Sunday, more cloud cover, a bit breezy, but still warm. I think high temperatures will average right around 70. Notice even by late afternoon, it's still dry. But late Sunday night on into Monday morning, here comes that line of showers and some thunder to greet us first thing in the morning. I think by midday Monday, this moves out fairly quickly. And as it does so, temperatures are going to remain mild and another couple of dry days toward midweek next week. So 56 overnight, cloudy and some patchy fog. Tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sun. Temperatures around 73. The record is 72, so we could tie or even surpass that mid 50s tomorrow night. So most of Sunday still dry and warm and the chance for showers and storms to start Monday. I think by Monday afternoon, all the rain's out of here. So we'll get another 48 hour window from Monday afternoon to Wednesday afternoon where we're dry. But another round of rain with another cold front Thursday. That's followed by a much colder air with highs on Friday only in the 40s. So a big, big <laughs> turnaround Switch. from tomorrow to next Friday. If you lost your coat the last few days, uh, go find it. Go yeah. find it. Go, yeah. go buy one on sale this right. weekend. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, you're going to need it. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you, David. Sure. We appreciate it. Coming up, after a man joins an Islamic terror group, mm. his father makes it his mission to bring him home. What the father endured to save his son. That story coming up next. Wake up with James and Kim. James and Kim in the morning. Hello, I'm James Howard. And I'm Kim Carson. An evening in front of the fire can be so relaxing, but dangerous creosote buildup can cause a chimney fire. Help protect your home with CSL, the creosote sweeping log. It helps clean your chimney while it burns. Inside your chimney walls, there's a constant buildup of flammable tar and creosote. The active minerals in CSL will reduce those dangerous creosote deposits, making your next fire safer. It's so easy. Burn just once every 60 fires. CSL, the creosote sweeping log. CSL is available at the Home Depot, participating Ace True Value in Walmart. Kent French is the world-class clapper. 721 claps a minute. With the clapper, I only need two claps. Clap on, clap off. Claps things on, claps things off. Clap on the music. Just plug in your appliance. The clapper's great for hard to reach places. Take it from Kent. Just get Clap on, clap off. The clapper. Available at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Kmart.
Thank you. 20 on pump two. You got it. You just get back? Yeah, yeah, I did. Headed home for the holidays. Well, have a good one, man. Thanks. You too. Happy holidays from the Tennessee Lottery. Out of nearly 6,000 hospitals in the U.S., only six have vast expertise with key new technologies to save stroke patients' lives. And of those elite six hospitals, one is right here at Erlanger. In fact, no hospital in the world can do more to reverse a stroke's devastating effects than the region's only certified comprehensive stroke center. The Erlanger Health System. We practice what we teach. At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of, of course. course. <laughs> have questions? Visit fbhealthplans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. Let's give these Dayquil liquid gels and go. But these liquid gels are new. Mucinex Fast Max. It's the same difference. This one is max strength and fights mucus. Mucinex Fast Max, the only cold and flu liquid gel that's max strength and fights mucus. Let's end this. Tonight, it's a can't miss kibble because you're going to flip for Adam Sandler and the cast of The Ridiculous Six. I feel like One Direction has come back. One oh. Direction at 50. <laughs> Plus music mashup with Fallout Boys to Men. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. It is an alarming figure. The number of young men and women becoming foreign fighters in support of ISIS has roughly doubled in the past year and a half. So once they go to Syria or Iraq, is there any chance of getting out and safely coming back home? One man says yes. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman went to Belgium to find out how in a preview of this Sunday's Full Measure. The man we're talking about here is Dimitri Bontink. He is a former Belgian soldier whose son, despite a Catholic upbringing, was radicalized and joined Islamic terror groups inside of Syria. That is, until Dimitri went to get him back. What did they do to you? They took all my clothes out, uh, baiting me, and they put a cap uh, above my head, handcuffed me, and take me upstairs in the place where they interpolate me all the time and, and beating, because they really suspect me to be a spy. They're beating you? They're torturing you? They're torturing me. They're questioning you? Yes. And the whole time you're saying, I'm just trying to find my I'm son? I'm a father who is looking for his son. There were no boundaries in the mind of Dmitry Bontik when it came to saving his son. While his first trek inside of Syria turned up nothing, on the second, he and Yayoun were reunited. The teenager turned jihadi, had a change of heart, and was ready to return home. And after intense negotiations, Dmitry says they were allowed to go. The day that you got him out of Syria yes. and across the border, yes. and you're in safety, yes. what is the feeling? The first moment when I know we are safe, 100%, I hold him like a, like a small baby, like a child, you know. We were both crying, you know. We were both crying. It was an emotional uh, moment. Yeah. But that was hardly the end. Dimitri was about to engage in a new life, providing new hope for parents of other foreign fighters. And he would risk it all to help bring others back home. You risk your life every time? I risk my life every time. And believe me, ISIS know who I am. And they know when they see me with other parents by the border. They know for what I'm uh, there, what I'm coming to do. They know I'm trying to take uh, kids out. How successful is he? How many young men and women has he brought back? And how does he do it? Tune in to hear his interview and more of this captivating story on Full Measure with Cheryl Ackeson. You can watch Full Measure 10 a.m. this Sunday right here on News Channel 9. Sports is up next. We'll see how the Lady Vols did tonight. Uh, they were back in action on the road in the Midwest. Uh, plus, high school basketball highlights. Uh, we'll head to Ottawa as the Owls played host to Walker Valley. Dave Staley up next. You're watching News Channel 9 at 11. These days, everything's smart. Phones, cars, even TVs. Now's the time to get the smartest TV, 
internet, and voice services for your home at $29.99 a month each. The Spectrum Triple Play. Call 844-885-2999. Why is the Spectrum Triple Play so smart? You get all your favorite HD channels for free. And all your primetime shows are free on demand so you can watch instantly. Spectrum TV for $29.99 a month. Call 844-885-2999. Get the fastest internet at 60 megabits per second with no data caps. That's 20 times faster than DSL. With a free internet modem and bandwidth to support all those smart devices in your home. Spectrum Internet for $29.99 a month. Call 844-885-2999. With Spectrum Voice, enjoy unlimited nationwide calling with no hidden taxes or fees like the phone companies charge you. All for a great price with no contracts. Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice for $29.99 a month each. Call 844-885-2999. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Call 1-800-800-8430 today. Xfinity On Demand delivers thousands of hit shows, top movies, and more at no additional cost. So you can catch up on the latest episodes of TV's hottest shows anytime, anywhere. Switch to Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Plus, ask how you can add HBO, Showtime, or Stars, and enjoy award-winning TV shows and movies at home and on the go. There's no term contract and no early termination fee. Plus, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back Comcast customer guarantee, so it's risk-free. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-800-800-8430. That's 1-800-800-8430. Xfinity, the future of awesome. When Chef Tony Baker is in the kitchen, he never gets burned. Thanks to my UvGlove hot surface handler, now with non-slip silicone grips. The UvGlove protects from heat up to 540 degrees. And it's flame resistant. It really helps me hang on to slippery dishes. I use it with hot dinner plates, even ceramic bakeware. In my kitchen, I always make sure it's the Of Glove. The Of Glove is available at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Makes a great gift. Closed captioning brought to you by Wetter Mark Keith, because your case matters. Hi, everybody. Time for sports. A great night for high school basketball. Boys and girls all over the place. Uldawa tonight, Foster Gym. The Owls hosting the Lady Mustangs of Walker Valley. Tough matchup. The Stangs off to a hot start. Inbounds to Haley Jones. One bounce up and in. Two of her ten points on the game. Moments later, it's Jones out to Macy Clark. Nice bounce. Favorable bounce. Lime in the coconut. The cheerleaders love it, as well they should. And then it's Clark on the lead to Caitlin Lay. It's 14 to nothing, Lady Mustangs. Uldawa is in the soup, at least at this point. The Owls hung in there, though, tried to stay with the visiting team. Nice work here by Hannah Henderson, the underhand scoop, and won. Henderson had nine points to lead the home team, but friends, it wasn't nearly enough. Walker Valley runs away with this baby, 57-26 that final. The Lady Mustangs win at Uldawa. Walker Valley had a balanced attack for sure. Ten players getting into the scoring column. While basketball is heating up, the college football season is winding to a close. Up in Canada, the Great White North, the season is in the books. History, it's over. And for one former Chattanooga Mock slash former South Pittsburgh Pirate, what a championship season it was. Here's John Madewell. How cold was the water? It was cold. <laughs> Chris Jones is home in South Pittsburgh, reliving the victory douse he got after winning the Grey Cup. He coached the Edmonton Eskimos to championship glory at the end of last month in the Canadian Football League. He's been in that league for 14 years with four different teams. All of them have won the Grey Cup. It's been awful good to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the league's been good to me. I've got to, I've got to meet Doug Flutie. I've got to meet Warren Moon. He's come a long way after growing up in this public housing apartment. He played football for South Pittsburgh and UTC, then coached in the high school and college ranks for about 10 years. In the CFL, he definitely found his niche. This is his home in South Pittsburgh where his wife and daughters stay. He lived in a hotel in downtown Edmonton. And you pay one bill a month and, you know, you go home in the restaurants right there, you can go grab a bite to eat and go straight up and, you know, because I go to work at 3 o'clock in the morning and I get off at 7 o'clock at night and seven days a week. This week, he took that work ethic to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Chris will be head coach, general manager, 
and Vice President of Football Operations. I asked Chris why he's had such success. I don't think I've lost where I've come from, you know. Uh, I look forward to coming home and enjoying sitting around and drinking a cup of coffee with these kind of folks, you know. I mean, uh, that's, I think that's probably the thing that helps me most of all. He's our shining light. Yeah, yeah the whole town's really fired up about it. He's done, as the old saying goes, he's done good. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> John Madewell reporting. Thanks. College basketball now. The mock men are at Dayton tomorrow night to play the Flyers. Two good teams. However, Chattanooga will be without its main man. Casey Jones suffering an ankle injury in practice today. He will not make the trip to Ohio. Jones is out indefinitely. Huge loss for Chattanooga. Casey leads the team in scoring, rebounding, and assists. He was the preseason Southern Conference Player of the Year. Obviously uh, an understatement. As long as he's out, the mocks will not be the same. Finally, coming off that loss at home in Knoxville to Vatek last Sunday, the Lady Vols were at Wichita State tonight, a team with only one win on the season coming in. Hmm. Tennessee struggled again. There you see the final, though. Lady Vols pull it out. Big Orange is at Stanford Wednesday night. Struggling a little bit. Struggling, but little, winning. But winning, and that's the key. There you go. That's Perfect. the key. All right, thank you, Dave. Yeah. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Later tonight on Nightline, an emotional day giving dads a rare chance to be father figures. A very special visit, except it's only for one day. And how these neighborhoods are going over the top in an all-out light fight. You're watching News Channel 9 at 11. Crystal and wing packs are perfect for any party or get-together, and you can eat them any way you want. Crystal, crystal, wing, wing, crystal, 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 wing, crystal, 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 wing, crystal, wing, wing, crystal, crystal, crystal. Share crystals and wings this holiday season, only at Crystal. The Mitchells want to transform this barely used bonus room into an entertainment room. Great room. How do you guys want to use it? We'd like a place we could all hang out. Definitely. For this makeover, I'll mix casual colors and fabrics. It's easy to create a functional and fun space with the HGTV Home Design Studio by Bassett. We've got this U-shaped sectional. These fabrics are great. I love the pops of color. It used to be a storage room. Now it's a family room. We love it. Are you ready for your big reveal? Hurry into Bassett now to save 30% storewide for three days only. At H.H. Gregg, the season of Got It starts now. Make it a 4K holiday with all 4K TVs on sale. Samsung, Sony, LG, and more. Get an LG 49-inch Smart 4K TV, $699. An LG 55-inch Smart 4K TV, $899. Save an extra $200 instantly on already low-priced appliances. Plus, get zero down, zero interest for up to 36 months at H.H. Gregg. Gregg's Got It. When this card comes out, prices come down. With the Food City Value Card, you'll save every day. Plus, earn value points toward 5% off your grocery bill. Only at Food City. Time is running out for you to make the holiday bargain buy of a lifetime during that sensational pre-Christmas sale at Scott's Furniture. Friday and Saturday, 9 till 7, everything's on sale. Desks start at just $2.25. A coffee and two end tables start at only $1.29. Save up to 50% off of the clearance center at Scott's and buy with four-year interest-free financing and no down payment. Plus, delivery and setup are free up to 50 miles. Don't miss their pre-Christmas sale for 2015. Friday and Saturday, 9 till 7 at Scott's Furniture in Cleveland. Business, as in life, is National Title Pawn. Good people helping good people. Crystal's Mix 5 for $5 now features chili, and it's causing a great debate. Chili is soup. No, it's stew. Soup. Stew. Soup. Stew. Choose any five of your favorites in Crystal's Mix 5 for $5 now featuring chili. Only at Crystal. This is News Channel 9 at 11 in HD. 
And welcome back, David Glenn. Back one more time. Well, we got good shopping weather. Oh, uh, nice. Like the that. weekend is here. Awesome. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> feel like December, but that's okay. Mid 50s, early in the morning. But low 70s by the afternoon. If we reach that 73 or higher, that'll go above the record high, which is set back in 1931. Wow. 70 for a high again Sunday. The chance for showers and storms right during your morning commute Monday. Doesn't last long. In fact, it stays warm through the middle of the week. But cold air is coming a week from now. And if you're going shopping this weekend, it's probably going to be crowded. Yes. yes. You have good weather, right. and a lot of folks yeah. need to do some shopping. Sure. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for making News Channel 9 your choice for news. Our news continues 24 hours a day at newschannel9.com. You can also join us on Facebook and Twitter. Jimmy Kimmel is next. Have a great night. Thanksgiving. I, have, I did a lot of cooking on Thanksgiving weekend. I did a lot of eating too. Not only did I eat the whole Thanksgiving dinner with the turkey and the sweet potatoes and the pie, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a deep dish pizza for lunch just to top things off. <laughs> uh, according to the Calorie Control Council, which is a th